Hi, Judd here. Just came out to check the mail and saw something interesting. If you recall, last week I trimmed off my palm trees. These are both sylvestri palms, put in at the same time, same depth, all that stuff. But look at this one. Now, this is one I trimmed off very, very high. And look at all that new growth coming in. This thing is just saying, you ain't gonna mess with me, man. I'm coming back. Look at that. I mean, it's going wild with berries. Look at that. Wow, what a harvest that's going to be if that were something to harvest. But over here, this one, nothing. So I find that interesting. Maybe I have killed this one. No sign of anything happening over here. Maybe in the next few days it'll take off or maybe this just... This one is in worse soil. Okay, coming out to this one out back, it too is fighting back, which I've seen on this one before. So that's good but the real tall one over there at the end of the house is not yet growing back anything so it'll be interesting to see what they do i certainly hope they come back i expect them, i fully expect them to I, I was actually surprised that that first one had come back so quickly and so strong but that's that one nothing up there yet oh and there's this other one that I trimmed. Still looks perfectly healthy, but not showing any signs of traumatic growth. That's that first one, that's like traumatic growth. That's like, oh my god, I'm dying. I gotta put out some shoots real quick. Make some babies. Anyway, that's destroying my palm trees. Look at that baby. Oh, I love that thing. Meanwhile, what brought me outside was my car carrier, which is wonderful, but I gotta do something. When I took these bolts off the original car carrier, I treated them, uh, I brushed them up and treated them with a rust converter. But you can see even so, they are now rusting. Uh, so I'm going to have to paint those. So i got to take that thing off and bring it inside and clean that up again and paint it. But before I take it off, I want to put the scooter on it and set a place where I'm going to put a hole in the carrier to secure the scooter and lock it to the carrier. And I'll tell you, already, I mean, I've gone shopping and this is so much easier now to open that back hatch and put groceries in and out of there. Getting at it is no problem. And even if I have to reach all the way over it, it's still a lot easier dealing with the hatchback now, putting loads in and out of the car. Those are balanced as it were. About right there. Just in front of the battery connector, that's the center of mass.
a little trick I did before I put that lift in there after having sanded it and painted it and all that and that it all set up I waxed it with uh, carnaboo wax to keep that from getting stuck in there so that's why it came out so easily I'm just going to hit those with some wax so it's finishing wax carnaboo bowling alley wax sometimes Okay, and also wanted to show you. So I will come all the way from the back here. So you can, you can there, open this up real easily. Actually, I can lean against this, and uh, I can reach in there and get stuff, or I can come around the side if I need to and get stuff. So that's workable, as opposed to that horrible lift I had. I got a bit of put a bigger washer under here. There's steel right here under this plastic. So this isn't just bust through the plastic. There's steel reinforcements to the frame under here. Okay, so there you go. That's it on the scooter. Uh, I got my reflection, my reflective devices under here so people can see it easier from behind. And I've got a locking thing and then I will strap it on with a regular strap. Happy day to you!